This film aims to help people with chronic hepatitis B better understand how hepatitis B can affect their body. Chronic hepatitis B is caused by the hepatitis B virus and means you have had hepatitis B for more than six months. Most people do not have symptoms when they catch hepatitis B and can have chronic hepatitis B for many years without knowing it. If you have hepatitis B and regularly see your doctor, then you can live for many years with hepatitis B. The hepatitis B virus is not HIV or AIDS. It is not the same infection. Over time, the hepatitis B virus can damage the liver. Without regular blood tests, it can lead to scarring of the liver and for some people, even liver cancer. You cannot live without a liver. Most people with hepatitis B will not get liver cancer. Seeing your doctor regularly about your liver will help to reduce the risk of getting liver cancer. Hepatitis B has four different stages and your liver is affected differently during each stage. This film will help you understand the different stages using animation. By the end of this film, we hope that you will have a better understanding of why you need to see a doctor for your chronic hepatitis B, even when you are feeling good and healthy. By seeing your doctor regularly, you will be able to see what the hepatitis B virus is doing and can get the right treatment if you need it. Let's learn about hepatitis B and the four stages. But first, I'd like to introduce you to the three characters of this film. Please meet the hyena. The hyena is acting as the hepatitis B virus. Please meet the dog. The dog is acting as the body's immune system. The immune system is the one that helps our body to fight off infection. So the dog will be fighting the hyena. Please meet the sheep. The sheep is acting as the liver and will be protected by the dog. The first stage. The first stage of the chronic hepatitis B virus, let's call it the peaceful stage. But your doctor might call it the immune tolerance stage. During the peaceful stage, the hyena and the dog are both quiet and calm. They are living together in silence. During this stage, the sheep is healthy and protected by the dog. The dog is watching the hyena and ready to fight if the hyena tries to attack the sheep. You do not need treatment at this stage, but you will need to keep going to see your doctor regularly. You will still need to take a blood test every six months to check on what the virus is doing. While everyone needs to visit the doctor regularly during this stage, it is particularly important if you are of African background and over 20 years old. Please contact any of the services listed at the end of this film or ask your doctor to provide you with more information about this. The second stage. The second stage of the chronic hepatitis B virus, let's call it the fighting stage. But your doctor might call it the immune clearance stage. During the fighting stage, the hyena is now active and strong. The dog is having to work hard to fight and protect the sheep from the hyena. While the dog is fighting the hyena, it can hurt the sheep it is trying to protect without realizing it. During this stage, you may need to visit the doctor more often, be referred to a special hepatitis doctor, be asked to do extra tests like blood tests, scans or ultrasound, which is a picture of the liver, be given medicine like tablets. Seeing your doctor and getting tests done means that the doctor can see whether the virus is causing any damage to your liver and whether you need to take any medicine. Remember, it is very important to see your doctor regularly during this stage and to follow their direction. Please seek further support if you need it from the services listed at the end of this film. The third stage. The third stage of the chronic hepatitis B virus, let's call it the guarding stage. 
but your doctor might call it the immune control stage. During the guarding stage, the hyena is weak and is resting. It is not active during this stage. The dog is guarding the sheep and watching the hyena closely to make sure it's ready if the hyena attacks again. The sheep is feeling okay, but still has the damage done to it during the previous stage when they were fighting. During this stage, visiting your family doctor or special hepatitis doctor is very important. Your doctor will ask you to have blood tests and an ultrasound regularly to find out if you have any liver damage or are at risk of developing liver cancer. Finding out early if you have liver cancer can save your life. Most people do not need treatment during this stage. The fourth stage. The fourth stage of the chronic hepatitis B virus, let's call it the weakness stage, but your doctor might call it the immune escape stage. During the weakness stage, the dog can no longer fight the hyena on its own and needs help. The hyena becomes very active, growing stronger and more active. When the dog tries to attack the hyena, it causes more damage to the sheep that it's trying to protect. During this stage of the infection, your doctor, special hepatitis B doctor and nurse will talk to you about the best way of treating your liver. You might be asked to visit the nurse or the doctor more often than before, and it is very important to do the follow-up as requested. You need to understand what the doctor or the nurse is telling you and follow their instructions. If you do not understand what the doctor is saying, please ask your doctor, nurse, or one of the support services listed at the end of this film any questions that you have. Don't wait. Do it now and ask about all the things that you need more information about. Remember, you could also ask to have all the information given to you in your own language. Chronic hepatitis B can cause serious damage if you ignore it. Visit your doctor and get tested regularly so that both you and your doctor know if the virus is causing any damage. These tests will show if your liver has been damaged and how it is functioning. You are responsible for looking after your liver. Eat a healthy and balanced diet. Do regular exercise. Watch how much alcohol you drink. Having no alcohol is best. Tell your doctor if you are planning to use or are already using any herbal or traditional medicine. Seek further help whenever you feel you need it. Making the right choices gives you the best opportunity for a good, long and healthy life. Peace Multicultural Services at Relationships Australia in South Australia. This service employs workers who have long experience of working with people who have been diagnosed with chronic hepatitis B and who are from a country other than Australia. They understand cultural issues and will help you understand what is going on. They will provide you with further information and support you to better deal with chronic hepatitis B, guide you and refer you to services that will help meet your needs, Accompany you to see the doctor or any other relevant services. Use an interpreter of your choice if you wish. Meet you at your home, your doctor's clinic, or any other place that is suitable to you. You can contact Peace through Relationships Australia in South Australia on 08 8245 8100 or visit us at 49A Orsman Street, Hanmash. 5007 or ask your nurse or doctor to make an appointment with us on your behalf. Hepatitis SA. This service employs people who have excellent knowledge of the liver and the viruses that affect the liver. They can provide you with further information about how to protect your liver. They can also advise you on finding a doctor that understands hepatitis B. Hepatitis SA staff will also use an interpreter if you need it. You can contact Hepatitis SA on their information and support line on 83628443 and if you live in regional areas please call 1300 437 222 
or visit them at 3 Hackney Road, Hackney, South Australia, 5069. This film was developed by Peace Multicultural Services of Relationships Australia and South Australia in consultation with people living with chronic hepatitis B, community members from culturally and linguistically diverse background, doctors and nurses, staff of Hepatitis SA. We thank all those who contributed their knowledge to make this film a useful resource.